My name is Tyler, Tyler Benson. I work at uh, CHS, uh, overseeing sales enablement for the sales teams across energy, grain, agronomy, and just really just working on improving those people's selling skills. So Tana, tell us about CHS. Um, it is a, uh, a hidden gem. So it, yeah, it, does. it really is. Uh, CHS is a uh, Fortune 100 agribusiness company. Uh, that's uh, in the United States, just helping farmers grow their operations. We're integrated in energy, grain, and foods uh, in 19 different countries, I believe, today with uh, over 13,000 employees. And how many people are in sales? It's in the thousands. Um, you know, we have, we have salespeople in every division that we have. You were in sales enablement. Uh, can you describe your role and uh, your business function? Sales enablement, our function is to help our sales professionals develop across the sales process, uh, really providing them with tools and insight to, 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 grow, uh, to grow their business, their book of business, but also grow our owner's book of business. At CHS, we're cooperative. So our customers, our customers own us, uh, own our company. Uh, and it's in, and it's unique that way. So as we help our own business grow, we are also helping our put put money in our customers' pockets, which is ultimately what we want to achieve. You are also working with the sales board, uh, the creative action selling. Yes, and I learned that you are using this for your energy division. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, so we've been working with the sales board for a long time. Uh, you know, we've been working with the sales board for ten years. Uh, more than that now, um, but it's a 10 year plus plus relationship. We, it's all started in our energy division with what we had at 130 salespeople. Uh, now what we've used is we've used the action selling process to really help our, 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 our sales professionals in all divisions uh, cross sell and help each other. So you also did a study of the salespeople that were certified in action selling and compare yes. that to other salespeople that were not certified. What did you find? We studied five quarters of data. So, uh, so I mean, really what it was was 15 months of, of sales numbers uh, across, across our energy organization or our energy sales professionals. And we looked at those that had followed through and certified in the process of action selling versus the ones that hadn't. Uh, and we found that those that had uh, we're selling at a clip of 130% more than, than the ones that had not. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it was astounding. And we were talking seasoned sales professionals versus, versus seasoned sales professionals. We aren't, we aren't, we're, we're, we're comparing apples to apples in this study. 130% is a huge number. Very big. And, uh, that must have had a, a, an immense impact uh, on everybody in the company. Um, how do you explain that, that big difference? This is a sustainable process, and I think that's the best part about it all. Uh, it provides a logical communication between the, between the buyer and, uh, and the seller and, and really helps them get to the point of, of an overall solution. And our salespeople are, are more effective because they, they have a targeted approach uh, to, to their conversations with their customers, and they know exactly why they're there. How would you describe that process? Um, I'm really curious uh, on what makes this different than uh, the sales processes that you had before. What makes action selling unique and, and what makes it great is it's completely complementary to anything else that a sales professional has ever, ever learned uh, in their career. Uh, so many training programs will, although they, they have good stuff in them, they'll say, Take whatever you learned about the sales process, scrap it, and use this and only this. Uh, so action selling doesn't do that. It's, it's keep completely complementary. It, it has its great framework uh, for, 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 the, for the five buying decisions and the acts of the sale to, to follow. It's got a great roadmap. Um, but, but it also says that you know, if you've learned some other things as a sales professional, uh, you know, sometimes we're training people that have been in sales for 20 years, right? And they know how to do it. Uh, so... So we're saying you can you can work some of those other skills that you've learned right into this process, uh, and and it and I think that is is one of the most unique things about it, and uh, and and why it works so well. I'm curious about the five steps of that process. Well, so we got the five buying decisions, right? So it's the it's the salesperson, uh, you know, knowing that knowing that you cannot sell anything in your own company 
You're not selling any of your products without selling yourself. And then we have the company itself. That is the second buying decision that a, that a buyer is going to make. Then we have the product, uh, whatever, the, or the solution is what I should say. It's not just the product. You're selling solutions more than you're selling products today. And then the price itself, have you built up enough value in the price to be able to justify if it's higher? And at our company, we're higher most of the time. Uh, we pride ourselves on being high quality, uh, not low price. Uh, and then the last decision is the time to buy. Are, are we in the right sequence with the customer in their time frame? Now, the nine acts of the sale are what push those decisions forward. So we have act one, commitment objective. We have two, building a good rapport and people skills. We have act three, build, asking the best questions. Act four, agree on the needs. Act five, sell the company. Act six, sell the solution or the product. Act seven, gain commitment. Act eight, confirm the sale. Uh, so, and then act nine is replay your call, which is study the game film. Uh, look at what you did well, uh, what you could change and what you could build on moving forward. So that is what we, that's, that's the process. That's awesome. Uh, I like number nine, uh, watch the game film and watch the game film and, uh, get involved in, uh, in an ongoing quest for improvement because that kind of, uh, education is the passport for the future.